All right. Hey guys, it's Green Winnie. Today we're gonna be making bandit style chicken noodle soup. Basically, you are you have to clean these first because they're gross, and it really is gross. I can't fucking see what I'm doing in this mask, dude. Like, it's gonna be really hard to cut onions and all that stuff because I can't see them. Uh, okay, I put this in the water. Holy shit, what the hell, it's so heavy. And then you put it on here. And I think it's this one, right? Yeah. Okay, you, you put it on next. Anyway, so up next, you, you let this shit boil up in there, right? And you put this out. We're gonna be cutting shit now. I don't know if I have onions, but I do have a carrot in here. I need like a little carrot. Whoa, what the fuck? I think this is, does this carrot look normal? I can't see, I have a mask. Okay. For this special occasion, my mom let me use steak knives. And for all you haters, this is what I'm gonna do to your head. Am I using the right side of this? <coughs> That's what I'm gonna do to your head, you stupid haters. Think you can mess with me? Oh yeah! Roll that shit in the trash! I think you need half of this. Actually, you probably only need less than half, to be honest. Anyway, so... To cut an onion, I think you have to do it this way. No. What am I doing here? You know, cutting onions makes you cry, but see, because I'm wearing a mask, I am perfectly okay. And this is why bandits wear masks, because they do a lot of cooking, right? And they do a lot of cooking with onion. So then you just line it up again, and then you cut it into little... What the fuck is that? And you gotta make sure that they're like really thin, or else there'll be giant pieces of onion in your soup, and then it'll fucking taste bad. So then if you are got big pieces, you just cut them. I cannot fucking breathe right now. <laughs> You just cut them, and then you're good. And uh, I'm just gonna put the rest of these up. You know what? Okay. I don't even care anymore, dude. I'm not gonna be a professional cook. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut them however I feel like it. I am a professional chef. This is how you cut pieces of onion. Ready for this? Yeah. First, you have to peel the carrot, but I think I'm gonna clean it first because it looks kind of gross. Okay, so to peel it, you go scales like like this. Okay, what the fuck? Come on. Oh! <laughs> you know I should have probably cut off the tip of it too, by the way. So to cut it, um, look a baby carrot. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so that's the carrot. And now you also just cut this one the same way, except you gotta cut this one double. The, the, the things. I am a professional with knives, okay? I cut up a lot of people because I'm a true bandit. So this is real easy for me to do. And then you just. Hey Greenie, while we're all here, do you have any tips for making soup? Uh, my tip is to make it with your heart and your soul and put a lot of love and a lot of cummies into it. So after that boils, you have to change the water because out of the chicken, 
if you're a true bandit, you get it out of the trash. So when the water, when it boils in the water, it takes out all the trash in it, but leaves in the flavor of the trash. So you gotta take out the water after it boils and then fill it up again and let it boil again. And then you put salt in it and then you skim out the rest of the trash. So it's boiled now. So we can go ahead and do that. Pour out all of that trashy water and just leave in the flavor of the trash. Like our hero Danny DeVito says. Oh! <laughs> okay, well, we lost a leg. It's okay, we still have two. So we just go back and let it boil again. Now that it's almost boiled, we can put the salt in. I think about that much is enough. Maybe a little bit more. Take one of these tools, these fine looking funky ass tools. And you see, there's like a little bit of trash there. It's a little bit of trash there and a little bit of trash somewhere over here. And you just kind of take all that trash. And I think the trash is out. So let's just toss these bad boys in there. Toss them in like such, like so. Oh, I'm spilling it, but that's okay. If you spill some, that's okay because um, you don't make mis- Dude, this from like a dirty stove. Don't put the- oh my god. What? It's from like a dirty stove. You just ruined the soup. It's gonna like taste bad now. So you just toss all that in there and that's good. You let it sit. Turn down the temperature. Put on that timer. About an hour, I believe. Yes. Do you sleep with your mask on? I don't even sleep, dude. You know, that's not bandity to do. You you never sleep as a bandit because you never know when some bandit folk asshole named Ekai is gonna be commenting on your videos and saying some mad bad stuff, okay? So you never know. Ah! Oh, that's the onion. Okay, never mind. I thought that was like the trash. Okay. We got 57 minutes left of this. And now the next step is to get some potatoes. So you're gonna need about two potatoes of this size. Two potatoes of this size. I'm not mad by the way. I'm just really upset that you can some stuff about me. You you can peel them. I like to peel them over here and make a giant mess. So I think I'm gonna peel it on the plate this time. Fun fact about potatoes is that they used to be poisonous until they became not poisonous. And that is a fun fact about potatoes that you should know because, um... Okay, I can't see out of the mask, so if there's any green spots on the potato, tell me. Green spots? Yeah, because if it's green, you can't eat it. Okay. <laughs> I bet Ika's gonna be saying something stupid like, Yeah, you're a girl, you should be in the kitchen cooking, I'm so proud of you. But you know what? I'm not even a girl. Okay, I'm, I'm, I identify as, as a male, so shut up. How do you deal with those haters? You know how I deal with those haters? You know how I deal with those haters? That's how I deal with those haters. Okay. I was commenting on my stove, man. I don't get it, man. Get it, man. The timer is going down, the hour is almost up, you peel their potatoes, and now we're going to add some oatmeal into it and some spices. Okay, you know, I'm just going to cut it this way because I can't cut it like normally. 
Actually, you have to cut it bigger than I just did. Ah! Sorry. It's actually, we. You cut them in chunks like this, so then part of it stays, and then that part like goes into the soup, and then it tastes tasty, basically. What? You cut it in big chunks, so then that part, like the part that goes out like this, evaporates into the soup, and then this part stays, and it tastes good. Now another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the chicken out. And shredding the meat is going to make the chicken more edible because you cannot eat bone in soup. It was a giant jump stick. Um, I am having a stroke. Alright, next up is the oatmeal. I'm not entirely sure how much you put in. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. That's only about a cup. Yeah, but that is a lot of oatmeal. All right, that should be good. All right, chili powder. You need chili powder in this. Um, basil. And uh, what else is in here? Oh, we don't have any pars uh, parsley. Parsley? Yeah, but we do have rosemary. Should we put rosemary in it? Sure. Do you think it'll- is- rosemary is a herb, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's not a spice? Um, herbs are the leaf parts. Yes. Spices are the tree parts. Bark parts. Yes, um, and I think- I'm just gonna do it in my hand. I'm just gonna put it in there. Make it smell all nice. Oh, that is way too much, dude. What the heck? Whatever. I'm gonna put it in for... I'm gonna put it for 35. Okay, and then we wait. And then it'll be done. And you put way too much spice on my top. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Bandit-style chicken soup. Very nice and tasty. Hopefully it won't be too spicy since the cameraman put stuff in there that made it spicy. And there you go. That's the chicken soup.